Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Topic 2 Equations, Inequalities and Absolute Values. Lecture 3 of 4. Next, subtopic 2.2 Quadratic Inequalities. A quadratic inequality is an inequality of the form. So, all this four is the of the form ax square plus bx plus c. We know that it is quadratic because of this form x square. So, the inequalities will be greater than, greater than or equal to, less than and less than or equal to. Where a, b and c are real number with a not equal to 0. Okay, because it is, it is quadratic. If a equal to 0, then it will not become a quadratic inequalities. The quadratic inequalities can be solved by using two methods, which is graphical or algebraic methods and the algebraic method is divided into two parts which is real number line and table of sign graphical method so the graph of quadratic expression is sketch and points where the graph cuts act as this say p and q are noted so from this graph p and q is where the root is so if y greater than 0 when p when x less than p or x greater than q so your answer will lies in the interval of x less than p or x greater than q if your quadratic inequalities is less than zero, then the answer will lies in the interval between P and Q. Okay, next, for this second graph, I will not recommend you to follow this second graph. So if you have Y greater than zero, but your A is less than zero, and your answer should lies on this interval x greater than p or less than q if your quadratic inequality is less than zero so your answer should lies between x less than p or x greater than q my suggestion is always have your quadratic inequality in terms of ax square plus bx plus c so that we will always have a smile graph. So we will look at the example for graphical method. So part A solve the following inequalities by using graphical methods. So you have x square plus 6x plus 5 greater than 0. So first thing first, what you need to do is factorize this quadratic inequalities so use your calculator you will get x plus 5 and then x plus 1 greater than 0 so here you already know that the root is x plus 5 equal to 0 x is equal to negative 5 and x plus 1 equal to 0, x is equal to negative 1. So this is our root of the graph. So sketch the graph. The positive one, because we have the positive he A here. So negative 5, negative 1. So the answer should lies on the interval greater than 0, which is on the upper part of the graph so write your answer the answer should be x less than negative 5 union x greater than negative 1 or if you want to write it in interval form, it will become negative infinity, negative 5, close bracket, union, open bracket, negative 1 to infinity. So give, just give your answer either one. So part B, 
we have 6 minus 7x minus 3x squared. So rewrite the expression negative 3x squared minus 7x plus 6 less than 0. So my suggestion is change the value of a to positive. Okay, so that we will always have the smile graph. Okay, then we will multiply all by negative 1. So we have 3x squared plus 7x minus 6. Okay, remember when we multiply by negative value, we will change the sign. So we have greater than 0. So from here, we will factorize the quadratic. So we have 3x minus 2 and x plus 3 greater than 0. So find the root, 3x minus 2 equal to 0, x will be 2 over 3, and x plus 3 equal to 0, x is equal to negative 3. So sketch the graph, so negative 3 and 2 over 3. So we will choose the part of the graph that is greater than 0 which is the upper part of the graph. So the answer should be from negative infinity to negative 3, open bracket, union 2 over 3 to infinity. part c so we have 3x bracket x minus 5 less than equal to 2 bracket 2x minus 3 so first we will expand the bracket so 3x square minus 15x less than equal to 4x minus 6 so rearrange these inequalities so bring all together to the left hand side so 3x square, okay, negative 15x and then minus 4x. So we have negative 19x and then plus 6 less than equal to 0. So we factorize the quadratic. We have 3x minus 1 and x minus 6 less than equal to 0. Find the root. 3x minus 1 equal to 0 x should be 1 over 3 and x minus 6 equal to 0 x equal to 6 so we have the root here so we sketch the graph okay, and label the root 1 over 3 and 6 so which part we want to find the solution look at our inequalities we want it to be less than or equal to zero so it will refer us to the bottom lower part of the axis so this is the interval your answer should be from 1 over 3 to 6 or if we want to write it in the solution set okay, so x double dot x greater than 1 over 3 greater than equal to 1 over 3 less than equal to 6 so we call it interval solution and solution set just give your answer either one. Next, quadratic inequality by using algebraic method. So we know we have two algebraic method is divided by two. We have two methods, which is positive number line. And table of sign 
Okay, so the first example, x square minus 2x minus 15 greater than equal to 0. We will factorize the quadratic inequality and we will get x minus 5 and x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0. So by using the positive number line method, we will assume the factor greater than 0. So the first one is we will assume x minus 5 greater than or equal to 0. So x greater than or equal to 5. Then x plus 3 greater than equal to 0. And x greater than or equal to negative 3. We will make a number line. So label the root which is negative 3 and 5. So the first part is x greater than equal to 5. So close dot to the right. And the second part is x greater than equal to negative 3. So now we will put the sign on the line. So here we have positive and positive so the place where there is line there should be a positive sign so positive times positive you will get positive positive so there is no line here we will put the negative sign okay positive times negative you should get negative and both have no lines so negative times negative you should get positive so now we want to find the interval. Where is our answer? So look at our inequalities. Here we want to find the inequalities that is greater than or equal to zero. So choose the positive sign. So our answer should lies on the interval so negative sorry should be from negative infinity to negative 3 ok close bracket union 5 to infinity so this is the method of positive number line okay next solve the following quadratic inequalities by using algebraic method so here we will use uh, a table of sign method okay Expand our bracket because there is 4x here and not 0. So be careful. So when we expand, we will have 2x square plus 6x okay, minus x and minus 3. Less than 4x. So we rearrange our inequalities 2x square so 6x minus x minus 4x we will have plus x and then minus 3 less than 0 so here we will factorize our quadratic so 2x plus 3 and x minus 1 less than 0 so we need to find the root so 2x plus 3 equal to 0 x should be negative 3 over 2 and x minus 1 equal to 0 x is equal to 1 so after we find the root you need to write a table like this put the factor in the table so here we have the factor 2x plus 3 and another factor x minus 1 and at the bottom we will 
write it as multiplication of two vector. Okay, so our root, we will write it on the line. So this root, this two root, put it here. So negative 3 over 2 and 1. So inside this row, so we will write the interval. So we have x less than negative 3 over 2 because, because it is on the left hand side of this root. So in the middle, we have x less than 1 greater than negative 3 over 2. And another one is x greater than 1. So we have the interval and we have the root. So what we need to do next is find any value within this interval. Okay, so for example, the value of x less than negative 3 over 2. So I will choose negative 2, for example. Okay, the value between these two interval, these two value, 0. And x greater than 1, so I will choose 2. So next, we will substitute this value inside our factor. So the first one, when we substitute negative 2 inside this uh, expression, 2x plus 3, we will get negative sign. So just write the sign, no need to write the value. Okay, if we substitute negative 2 here, we have negative 2, negative 1, negative 3, which is a negative value. So next, we substitute 0 inside this expression. So we will have just 3, so positive value. So substitute 0 inside this expression, we have negative 1, so negative value. Substitute 2 inside this factor, we have positive. And substitute 2 inside this factor, we have positive value also. So now, we will multiply the sign. So negative times negative, we will have positive sign. Positive times negative, we have negative. So positive times positive, we have positive sign. So now, we will choose the interval that is less than 0. So from here, less than 0 is in the middle so write the interval so this is our answer we will have the answer in solution set negative 3 over 2 which is less than x less than 1